Alright. Alright, now I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically upgrade to a custom firmware, in this case 3.52M33. And basically you can do this if you have if you have a firmware 1.5 PSP or a custom firmware that is um, earlier than 3.52M33. If you have anything higher than 1.5 and you don't have a custom firmware, then you can't install this custom firmware. You need to use a Pandora battery and downgrade. So don't leave me any of those comments. Alright, well basically now I'm just going to show you that this is going to be performed on a PSP that has custom firmware on it. To check your firmware, all you do is you go to um, sys, uh, settings, uh, system settings, then you go to system information, and it's going to tell you your firmware. In this case, mine is 3.4 OEA. It's a pretty stable firmware. I'm going to try a new one. Alright. Now you guys are basically just going to back up your stuff on your computer, so let's do a USB connection and connect to a USB connection under your PSP. So I'm going to do that real quick, just plug this in. Alright, and now we're just going to show you the on-screen stuff, then we'll come back to this later. Now that we're on the computer, we're going to show you basically how to set it up so everything runs well and you don't make any mistakes. Alright, first you're going to want to download the firmware, which you can do from my site. So just open up your internet, in my case, in, in Mozilla Firefox, because I like it a lot. Alright, um, let's go to my website, which is www.gaminghacks.tk. When you're there, just go to the PSP Downloads tab, and when you're in there, just right click the download and select the option Save Link As, like if I was to do this one. Click the option Save Link As, and it will save it. But if you're in Internet Explorer, then it would be Save Target As. But yeah, if you have any questions, check out my live feed, and you can ask me, and I can literally show you on camera. And add our YouTube page, Vima page, MySpace page. Facebook page and our forums. Yeah. And if you want if you want Firefox, you can download it from here as well. Anyway. Um I already have the firmware downloaded, so I'll just go ahead and show you. So basically I personally got it on my external hard drive. And over there, you're gonna wanna here's my download that I have. And create a folder called 3.52 M33. And basically all you're going to want to do is grab your little exe file that's inside the zip and just drag it in. And there you go. Alright. And when you're in here, all you're going to do is just extract it to the, file, to the folder you just created or even to the root of your memory stick. But just to make things easy, we'll install it to this folder. Alright. And now that it's here, all you're going to do is cut the PSP folder and go to your PSP, which should be connected to your computer. And we're going to go there and just paste it right there. And just click yes. And it's going to install it. And then there you go. Just go ahead and run it, and you should be good to go. Alright. Now that it is transferred to our PSP, we can go ahead and exit USB mode and just go to game go there and you'll see there uh, 3.52 M33 update just go ahead and run it I recommend though having your charger in so I should go do that real quick um, I'm just gonna pause the camera real quick while I go grab it and make sure it's at 75% because it said that error and it takes you back to the XMB. So I'm going to go charge it up 75% and we should be good to go.